Hi, beautiful energy. Welcome into your love messages for today. Your first card is the Eight of Swords. Um, the Page of Wands is next. We have the Three of Swords. Wow, someone is feeling hurt and sad. All right, someone is feeling lonely. Someone is missing you. I hear carnage. All right, someone is dealing with some spirits also. Someone could be sending spirit towards someone. Um, someone is crying, shedding tears. It's raining a lot too. Um, someone is feeling regretful is the energy. Someone is feeling a real total loss here. Someone is feeling like they cannot escape. Someone is feeling like they cannot get you off of their mind. They cannot stop thinking about you. Someone is feeling like they don't know what to do. Someone is feeling like they are running out of time. Someone is feeling like another person is taking your hand. Another person is coming to be with you and they don't want to lose. Someone is scared to lose you. Someone is feeling like you are theirs. They want you to be for them. Someone wants to give you their all here. Um, someone is feeling like they don't have what it takes to give to you. They feel empty, but they're trying to hold on to some fate or that that they will have what it takes they will have what it takes to come around so they're holding on holding on masculine energy maybe not this person is is wealthy or they're working on their wealth they're working on expanding their wealth and their business i'm hearing productive this person is they're giving me like obsessed with you wow look at these two cards that came out together you are this person, the light in this person's light, the light in their heart. This person is regretful, remorseful. They're so sorry for leaving you, for letting you down, for lying to you, for taking you for granted. This person, they want to build with you. They want you to have faith in them. They, they're trying to encourage you. Um, someone is encouraging you to build a strong foundation or to start over with them. Forgiveness. Someone is eager to express themselves to you, to show you that they have changed, they've been growing, they've been working on themselves, they've been healing and leveling up. Someone is feeling like they have an empire to offer you. No, they can make you happy, they can make you feel fulfilled and free, feel joy. This person is feeling like they can do big things for you. Just hold on to them, just believe in them. And you are like you will get through, but uh, well, miracle card just flew out. It's the first card to fly out. I was gonna say, but it feels like a facade. And then this miracle card. Someone does not want you to not believe in them. So let's see. A miracle is about to come. Some change is taking place here. Things are picking up speed. Your someone is letting go. Someone is choosing to let go. Yeah. Someone is choosing what path, what road they go down, and someone is choosing not to dwell in the past. Someone is choosing to overcome, to overlook um, the past energies and just look forward to the future, the miracles, the blessings that are ahead. Someone may be taking someone's hand in marriage. Something may have been leaving someone feeling confused. I hear this dispelled. So you may be breaking some type of a spell. You're getting some clarity or answer. A spirit is about to be free from you. You're about to be feeling glorious, rich and abundant. Rich with, I'm getting milk and honey. Some things that were work, trying to work against, you're going to work for you. So... Like you're going to see something that you thought was useless. It's actually beneficial and valuable, profitable. But you did not know that. Right? So like your insecurities were your perfection is what someone is saying. Yeah. This person, they want to come around with an offer for you. The Six of Cups energy. And they, this person, is they love you. Is the energy gossip. Yeah, you have hater raiders. People gossiping about you. Gossiping about your relationship. There were tongues in the midst of your relationship with your person. People that wanted to talk this, talk that, um, about you and your partner. This that's why this they wanted to confuse the situation. See them whispering in the sorry in this person's ears. Like this person could be saying, "I'm sorry, I listen to these people." Yeah, this person is saying, if they could reverse something, they wouldn't. They would have made a different decision. They feel guilty. They're asking that you pardon them for not nourishing you, taking care of you, treating you that like that they should have. They want to apologize for neglecting you, rejecting you. They want to um, they want to be there for you, you know, to 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 make things right, to set things straight, to make up for what was lost. This person is like vowing themselves, committing themselves to you, all right, and to making things better. Like they're saying, they will live out their life to to serving you or your relationship with them. 
um i'm feeling like you are the value here like you are the prize perfection so you it, this message is just is just letting you know to how this person is coming at you is just to let you know not just through them but by universal energies that you are the prize here you're realizing that you are the catch Someone wants to wrap their hand around your waist, like dance with you, feel you, move with you, flex with you, be with you, hold you. This is a person that is thinking about you, a person that you may have be gone out with before. Look, gratitude. They just want to be with you, hold you, and be close to you here. They're thinking about you a lot. What are they thinking about you? Everything that I just said, how much they yeah, this person they wanna they're telling you they wanna move into your life, they wanna be with you. They see a future together. They wanna fill your needs. They don't wanna take from you, they want to give you, they wanna they want you to believe in them. They oops. It's like this person wants you to believe that just they're saying, please trust in me. I'm going to do everything that you want me to do. They're like going down on their knees and saying, I, just just give me a chance. I, I'm going to show you that I can fulfill everything. And you're saying, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure. And this person is saying, just just give me the chance. Let me show you. Just open up. This is also something um about intimacy as well mating you know so this person is like feeling need for some of that warmness to be in your coziness they just want you to give them so you're probably going to see this person turning up to speak with you enlightenment card up here um there's someone that is jealous also or a lot of people or you're just really attractive at this time yeah sorry yeah the temperance is that same energy of how this person is feeling some type and the ten of swords yeah someone is feeling sad and lost now if you start to feel sad dreary out of place focus upon your breathing focus upon managing the energies in your body nourish yourself all right take care of yourself don't let yourself like be weak or spiritually physically or anything um, someone is looking for you. Someone is checking for you. There's someone that just keep on watching you. There's someone that is delighting in you. Someone that is taking pleasure in you. Queen of Wands energy. Magnetic, radiant, attractive, looking blessed. Um, fulfilled. You are someone's dream person. Someone is just all into you. This person here. So it could be an earth sign or it could be a fire sign. I'm getting strong fire energy, strong Leo energy. Someone has their eyes all over you. Something about nightmare and daydreams and casting spells and spells being sent back. No weapons formed against you shall prosper. Uh, all right. Um, because we have the high priestess card here. This could be uh, um, someone trying to cast spell over your body, over your spirit, over your mind. So get some sleep, meditate, rest, take your power back. You're about to get a clear vision of what has been trying to haunt you or taunt you. Um, trust, the, trust. there's something that you need to trust in the timing. This person is looking like they're wearing one of those virtual, virtual VR troopers. Like you're about to see a lot of truth coming out. So tr use your intuition, use your discernment. Because someone is not to be trusted. I feel like someone that may show up to speak with you, they are just be cautious about this person. I Like I say, you are protected, but be cautious about your interaction with someone. Because someone is a user like you know um or maybe that is someone's username for example so be mindful because you're going to find out some truth that about that some you're going to find out some truth that you are to protect yourself from someone this person is not to be trusted this person could be like an agent an agent an agent or a bot like they're to, here to collect information or like they're spying, like they're here to monitor you, yeah. The Page of Swords, the Three of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Ten of Swords. They're here to monitor you, to collect um, information, like some type of a spirit. You're going to call this spirit out. You know, like how they say, you call out Jesus Christ, or you just call out the truth, or you start to speak out the truth into the darkness, or what is feeling like it is trying to disempower you, the Ten of Swords card. 
and you're going to take your power back and disenfranchise it. You're going to dismantle that thing that was in operation, right? And so it is no more. Because of that, I feel like you're going to see your enemies revealed to you. You're going to see your enemy. Like this person, you may physically see this person show up. Six of cups, nine of wands, two of wands, sun card. You may see this person physically show up. Someone who's trying to like backbite you. Oh my God. Like look, the hermit and the, the, the ten of wands. Someone who's trying to backbite you. Someone who's trying to like, imagine someone like, uh, um, configuring a mechanical mosquito or programming a mosquito to a robotic mosquito to come toward you to to bite you yeah someone who's trying to distract you get you off of course send something your way to to affect you but this that, that this is your enemy all right and this is a love reading but perception however you 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 saw something you detected it vanity you were able to detect something wasn't true something wasn't real and you dismantle the spirit you dismantle whatever was sent you spoke over it you didn't you weren't fearful and because you're naturally psychic you're gonna be breaking this spell i feel like it joy that's why this joy card keep on coming up and I feel like this person that knows that you're breaking this spell, they're watching you. And they think it's fun and they think it's a game. Growth. And they're going to think it's fun and a game until they start getting something biting them back in their skin. Right? So return to sender vibration here. I did not expect this in your love reading. So this could be something about a karmic ex or some karmic people. Jealous people. I was saying about them earlier, I think. They, they wanted to hide behind your family or hide behind love and take jobs at you right because they, they try to compare themselves with you so they try to h the h word on you not to this whatever but you're an earth angel they did not know imagine the these were children playing with a robot they were trying to target a mountain thinking it was a sleeping mountain thinking what it was an unaware mountain but oh my god look but you are so aware you're awakened you're alive you're well but you may have just been in meditation state in your meditative state and then you open your eyes and these these kids be running now release now when you come up alive they they're scampering because guess what? You're coming out with the light. D-E-L-I-G-H-D. Recovery. You're coming out with the truth. You're coming out to cast spells. Or good spells. Joy. Over, over, over the people that wanted to remain in negative spells. And they're afraid. Bittersweet. They're afraid of change. You are an angel of work. Of light. You're a light worker. You are a healer. This is your quest. This is your mission. They didn't want you to be awake to that truth. You know? Someone did not want you to wake up and realize the truth. I'm feeling something about youths. Yeah, insecurity. Even in your childhood, they would try to pick on your insecurities. Like I was saying earlier, that which you thought was your insecurities, your greatest power, your greatest blessing, and it was a gift from God. So this could be your sensitivity, your kindness, your ability to heal, your seer. You're a gifted seer. You're very attractive as well. Someone is wondering how you can be so big, beautiful, and attractive. This joy card. Someone is also wondering how can someone reject you? And anyone that rejected you is because they were afraid of you speaking the truth. They did not want you to come out, come alive, and grow in your own way. They wanted to groom you, to grow in their way, so that you'd say what they want to say, do what they want you to do. So that is why they didn't support you in the end. That is why they wanted to bring you down, to cause you grief, to make you feel lost. It was a form of manipulation. Anywho, as you take your power back, your faith is growing, is being restored in most high energies. You're wise. You could be using your destiny. You're just going on this beautiful journey forward, entering into a new life. A new portal is opening up for you where changes are being made in your life. You may be adorning in purple more. Amethyst. Opening your third eye. You know, I love this reading for you. Take it easy. There, all is well and all is within you, beautiful. So much love.